Hi guys, I'm Angela Martinez, Content Marketing Specialist for Alpaca. For those of you who are new to the channel, Alpaca is a developer-first startup focused on building open APIs for stock and crypto trading, investing, and embedding. These videos will focus on how best to get started with our APIs in different ways. Today, we will be going over an article that is going to help us manage our stocks using a Google spreadsheet so we can manage our portfolio. And I will show you guys how to get to that article so that you can follow along with me. First of all, you need two things. So you need an Alpaca account and you just go here and you sign up for free. You have to get approved and then you need a Google account, right? That's free as well. You'll have access to Google Docs, Google Spreadsheet, etc. And what we'll be focusing on is the Google Spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to the article so that you can follow along. So you're going to go to community you're going to scroll down and there's going to be a list of that you can research about, but you're going to click on resources. And here we have all of the articles that have been written for any questions you have or anything else you want to know about Alpaca. It's all here for today. We're going to scroll down to the left and we're going to go to use cases and it's right on top Google spreadsheet to manage your stocks using API and you click on it. It's actually really useful because it has links that you can just click on them and, and it shows you the stuff that you're going to need throughout the video. So okay, we're going to use Google spreadsheet and here I'm going to show you app script. So you're going to go to extensions and you're going to click on app script. This uses JavaScript and what it does, it's basically telling the Google spreadsheet what to do. So you can write your code here and it automatically connects to the spreadsheet, the app script. Basically you use an HTTP request and it connects to our Alpaca API. And you can actually go here in developers and you go to trading API docs and you can see all the, the info and coding stuff that you need. So you go to trading API and you can go here and, and check the positions, orders account, and it just tells you the info, the request that you're going to need. So if we go to our article, you can see here the sample spreadsheet that the coders already worked on, and you can actually just copy it and have it for yourself. So we're going to open it and this shows everything. So here you're going to input your API key, your secret key, your buying power. You actually don't fill this out. When you click refresh sheet, after you put your keys, it automatically does it for you. So actually, if you go to extensions and you go to app script, you can see here the code and they actually um, added it down here. So you can, it's all here. You can look at it, the article. So basically this is a portfolio that someone did, but you can change it around for your needs, however you want it. So we can see here the account and the portfolio, your info, your summary, everything. And then if you go to create new orders, you can actually write stuff here, like the symbols that you need, and then you submit your order and it actually is already connected to the Alpaca API. So you have it on there. Um, so you can do buy, sell, you can refresh sheet. All of this, you have to input your API keys, right? And you can click here. Okay. Let's do, for example, like today, I actually haven't input my, my keys yet. Um, okay. I'll, I'll do it in a little bit. Okay. So this is what you have. You can click here, paper or not, no paper. Okay. So for your API keys, I already have inputted mine, but I'm going to show you. So you go to Alpaca and you go to login. You log in once you've already been approved and you go to paper trading or live, whatever you choose. And right here, it shows the API keys and you click on view and it'll show the API key. And if you click regenerate key, it'll show a secret key ID, but I don't want to do that because I already have mine. And you're going to input them here. Your choose paper or not, you just click on it and then you go to refresh sheet. And it'll just refresh everything that, that you have on your portfolio. So we should actually go to, to create new orders and we can write the orders that, that we have here. So let's say that I want to buy Apple and I want one stock and I want the type to be limit, the time in force to be good till canceled and the limit price, let's say one ID. It's probably really low, but let's do that. I go to submit orders and well, actually right now 
it's closed the market so we'll see here let's see refresh sheet we actually can see that obviously it didn't fill because it's closed but if we click delete and we click refresh sheet it'll just bring all my orders that i have ever done so um, but you can choose let's say for example 3 10 2022 and i go to refresh sheet and it'll just show the orders that i did before that time so basically this is all that you can do you can actually go more in depth in the in the code and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit so this is just an example that one of our coders did um, but obviously you can go into the code and change however you want it or you can even create your own from zero it, it's up to you so i'm gonna go into the code just a little bit so basically here is just saying okay we're gonna start our positions in row 17 and if you go here you can confirm that it's actually row 17. then here what it's doing is basically we're just calling the alpaca api uh, via http and then here we're just sending the the parameters okay we're saying okay in e3 we're gonna have the paper in e4 the api key basically if you go here you can confirm it for yourself then here it's saying if you don't input your api keys it's gonna throw an error and it's gonna say please input an api key and secret key and then if you go down here like i said we're calling the api um, the alpaca api and if we click that it is paper it's going to call the paper dash API alpaca. And then if we don't, it's going to just look for the API. So here, what we're doing is just basically preparing the parameters that we want to send to alpaca. And then here is just the alpaca is sending us back the response. Then here, it just processed the JSON response from alpaca. And then if we keep scrolling down, for example, here, we can update the open positions and the order sheets. And it's uh, updating orders and positions take a bit of time. Avoid trying to do it twice at once. So, and even if you've done many positions and you're asking for all of it, it's going to take time. And the last thing that I wanted to go over is the underscore request. So that's basically, it's asking the call that we want to make. So it's underscore request. And then if we choose get, that's basically saying, okay, we want to get or account information or orders information positions etc um, prices etc but if we go for example to post here it'll post an order so it just depends on what you want to do but you do use underscore request to call in um, an order or whatever the call that you want to make so that's all that we're going to go over today if you have any questions please write them in the comments and we'll be sure to answer them thank you for joining and watching the video. Please write any comments um, of any videos that you guys want to watch of any articles, and we'll be sure to make them. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it.